I'm Jada. And I'm Day. And this is the Panther Playback. Homecoming Week Edition. There's nothing better than getting the community together for a little celebration. In this case, we're celebrating our schools and city. From the parade to the pep rally, yesterday was an electric atmosphere full of spirit. Let's hear a bit from Mackenzie Lewis about how it went. Hey everybody, we're here at the parade. Today we're going to be seeing what the parade's like and we're going to check out the pep rally. Let's go. How'd you come up with the float? Um, I'd say it was kind of just like kind of an impulsive thought and I just thought like oh minions because last year we were gonna do it but we didn't end up doing it so that's just it just came up okay out of 10 I'd rate the float 10 out of 10 this is the most effort I've seen all day I love it so much and I love the minions so 10 out of 10 what's your favorite part about the parade and the float my favorite part about the parade is like you know saying seeing little kids smile and you know giving them candy it's just really a fun time what's your favorite part about the parade my favorite part about the parade is seeing all the community come together and being able to help out and just just make an impact on the community. Okay, so what's your favorite part about the parade and what's your favorite part about the float? Probably the people and like all the energy and the crowd and yeah. the candy, of course. Hey everyone, I'm here with Erica Jackson. So Erica, how does it feel to be nominated for Hoko Court? Um, it feels really good. It's a good honor. I wasn't really expecting it, but um, I'm glad I ended up doing it anyway. And yeah, I love it. Miss Kale, what is your favorite part about the community prep rally? My most favorite part about the community pep rally is all of our schools in our community getting together. This is the only time this actually happens in a school year, and so it's 100% by far the most favorite day for me. What is your favorite part about the community pep rally? I think my favorite part has to be the parade. Uh, watching all of the students come down, uh, bearding, and the little kids uh, so excited to see the band, to see the cheerleaders, the football team, and of course maybe get a little a little candy. Uh, but just watching that magic and just seeing the light in their eyes uh, truly made my day. What is your favorite part about the community pep rally? Um, for me, I have a senior, so it was the last part where the seniors came out and they gave a little token to the kindergartners. I just thought that was so sweet. I love uh, when the football players come running out on the field. That was my favorite part of it. Well, that is all I have for you today, Panthers. Thank you so much for coming to join us at the Pep Parade and the Community Pep Rally. Back to PHS News. Emma Morgan had the honor of chatting with our Pelham Way Award winners, delving into what this achievement truly means to them. Congratulations again to Johan Favero, Ms. Arceo, and Ms. Dillard. We are so proud of you all. Let's hear what they had to say to recognize both faculty members and students who exhibit leadership qualities, values, and traits with, consistent with what we call the Pelham Way. I interviewed last month's winners to get some insight on how they feel receiving this honor. It feels an honor. Um, kind of, it was kind of crazy like when I got like the award and all that. Um, I can just say like y'all can work hard, um, y'all can help people be kind, so like y'all can get the same award as me. It's changed a lot, like during class and all that. I need to stop like messing around with my friends and all that, like talk, cause I mean I've been talking like a lot during class. So I mean it kind of like I didn't know I was getting the award, so now I need to be like respectful during class and pay attention all the time. Um, if y'all don't know who I am, um, y'all can just know like I'm a really kind person, but. I mean, the only thing I can say, like, just follow your dreams and, like, work hard. Um, I think sometimes I have a little bit of imposter syndrome where I don't think I'm doing as good as I am, but so it's really nice to get the recognition. Um, well, I help a lot with one-on-one um, -on -one work, so I really get to know the students and then also ask them questions about their schoolwork and also outside of school. Um, they can just be positive and just do their best. Try, because I think that y'all are more capable than you know. It feels pretty good to get chosen for this award. I think it's really cool that Pelham is putting some effort in to recognize instructors and to recognize educators at the high school. So I think it's 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 really cool to, to be chosen. Um, and the way that I, you know, the way that I feel for other students, I just feel like me being here is already like an example. It's like, um, I mean, I'm a Hispanic background, so I think it's pretty cool, you know, to have other people see themselves in someone who they 
could possibly look up to or someone that they possibly work with, right? Because we all work together, like students and teachers. So the feeling is really great, and I'm just glad, I'm just happy to be here. And since I've received this award, my I don't think my actions have changed. I just keep doing the the things that I'm doing every day. I'm in the classroom. I teach. I'm in the lab, and we teach. We cook. We still have fun, and we explore just different areas of food and and culture. So I just think that me continuously doing what I'm doing is already it's already cool. It's cool to be recognized, and it's cool to continue those awesome things that we're already doing in the classroom. So I feel like every teacher has a different way of how they teach and how they show their classroom, their rules, their expectations. So I think setting an example, I think really is just, what are the things I expect of you? What are the things you expect of me? And let's just both meet in the middle, right? Or let's all make sure that we're meeting all those expectations and those rules so that we make sure that we're all successful. So me, myself, am I making an example? I believe I am. It's up to the students to treat. That's all we have for today. I'm Emma Grace Morgan with PHS News. Miss Abby Hall was recognized by Huntingdon College as an impactful educator honoree. She was one of 38 teachers recognized. Let's hear about what this award means to her. Congratulations, Mrs. Hall. Last month, our very own Miss Hall was named an impactful educator honoree. We sat down with her and one of her student ATs for more. Uh, it just simply means that I was um, chosen by a former student as their most impactful teacher through their high school and middle school career. Miss Hall has helped me in so many ways. Um, I think her teaching style is very beneficial to me. I think because of her teaching style, I feel like I can apply it to any subject, not just this one. Uh, Mackenzie Little nominated me for this. She's at Huntington College now, and she um, has always kind of hung around the program, even though she um, was only able to take one class period of mine. She gives um, me a lot of opportunity to see what it's like, like behind the scenes, what to do, what not to do. To know that I was making an impact on her, even though she wasn't in my classroom every day, um, enough so that she would pick me out of all of the amazing teachers that we have here. It was just um, an incredible I think honor. It automatically clicked. Um, whenever I was in, well, this was in her old room, but um, I was at first a little bit scared, but after a while, when she started being interactive with everyone, I just, I think it was a lot better I think is because it was a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. Um, I kind of approach my classroom maybe not so focused on um, the content really I, I try to meet the kids where they are I know some of these kids chose to be here and some of these kids did not choose to be here so my goal every day is to just change one percent so I mean even if we don't uh, impact their lives as a whole if I teach them one cool word that then later on in life when their mom has to go to the doctor they understand and they can connect that back to me that's kind of that's kind of how I am I, I, I want them to be literate in the health world not necessarily an expert not everyone's going to be a doctor but if they can um, tie anything from their their health future and their and their health history back to me that was that was a win for PHS news this was the kicker Jake Garner I'm Jacqueline Simon, and today we're meeting the guy that some of you guys may know as Frozen. Others may know him as Homelander. But no matter the theme or the day, this person always shows up and shows out. Ashton never fails to surprise when it comes to school spirit and dress up days. I love it that he goes all out. Um, he's kind of setting the bar pretty high for, for the rest of us. Um, his 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 fashion sense shows through in his school spirit dress up days. So, uh, I've known Ashton all four years of high school. We both both moved here for uh, like for freshman year. He's very outgoing and he's very, let's say, uh, silly. <laughs> I'm Ashton Little. I'm a senior at Pelham High School. I am the guy that dresses up. I am Goku, Frozone. Ken and Homelander. It's also nice to just support the school, show school spirit, show our teams and our teachers and our administrators that like we really care about this stuff. They've all been left me speechless. So um, I'm just kind of in awe of what I see. So he goes over the top. I know he's had to put in a lot of planning to come up with what he comes up with. The Froyo was pretty, was pretty good. I like that one a lot. You can put on the costume and just be the person, but Ashton, what's your around him? You're, if like you're just around him, it's the hype and like he lives up to like what he's trying to be. 
and, and he brings up like all the energy like just being around him you, you just have a smile on your face i love that i love him to death i wonder what ashton is gonna wear for today's pep rally i guess we'll have to wait and see Homecoming week has brought out some serious creativity in our teachers. They've been decorating their doors with amazing themes, showing off their Panther pride. And, gu and guess who had the fun job of judging them? Our very own team. They went around checking out each door and rating them based on creativity and spirit. Let's pass it over to them to see which doors stood out the most. Hey guys, I'm Addie Knight. And I'm Caroline Hamby. And we're going around rating homecoming doors. Let's go. This is Mr. Bice's door and Mr. D. Pugh. I really like the idea of this. The decoration is amazing. I don't like the Android emojis. So I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. Okay, this is Coach Dye's door. Um, I think I'm going to take off points for handwriting. And also, I'm not sure really what it says because it says journey through. Um, her, but I like the abs, um, and I like the panther and this palm P and the dead jaguar. So I'm going to give it a six out of 10. I feel like, I don't know if it's done, but I feel like this is a lot of wasted space. It's like 50% of the door, but I really like the construction guy. Very on theme for Friday's game. I'm going to give it a four out of 10. Okay. Here is the library's door. Um, this is by far the best I've seen. Very creative. Um, I like the pictures and obviously it sings. I love it. I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I really, 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 really love this store. It is so on point with the homecoming theme of road trip and all of our themes. Okay, guys, this is the art classes, both of them. This is their door. Um, it's a huge bus van thing, and I love it. I give it a 10. Taking a look inside of the bus, we have an amazing homemade Pelham Panther and a radio station, a steering wheel. Like, wow. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Okay, so we're here at Coach Collins' room. I mean, this is really good. I think this is the best one so far. A lot of creativity. You can tell they really worked really hard on this. I'm going to give this probably a 12 out of 10. Um, I'm really proud. I don't know how they came up with this. Um, this is really creative. And honestly, I don't like the talent. It's just really crazy. And I really love this one. <laughs> Happy homecoming. <laughs> We are back with Wordle, but this time it's with freshmen instead of teachers. I wonder if the freshmen can do a better job than the teachers from last week. Here's Alexa and Chloe with more. Happy, Happy homecoming, homecoming week. week! In honor of homecoming festivities, we decided to add one more thing, the Wordle. We got three freshmen to participate in this week's Wordle challenge. Let's see how they did.
Fantastic job, freshman. A great kickoff to our first student, Wordle. Now, technically in second place, Olivia. Great job. And the first tie in PHS Wordle history is Cody and Sadie. Sadie used a hint, so we can't really give her the win, so we'll just call it a tie. Yeah, we're going to let them tie. Great job, students. Teachers, I might be worried. These freshmen are coming for you. The students are going to do better than you, but maybe there'll be more people willing to do the Wordle. Who knows? Let us film you, and you might be on the next week's Wordle. Anyway, have okay. a happy homecoming, guys, and we'll see you next time. If you didn't go to the Powder Puff game on Wednesday, you definitely missed out. Even though the juniors won, seniors still showed out with a score of 18 to 24. Me and Jada played defense, and I even made a stop. But let's see some behind the scenes from some of the players. Hey, guys, I'm Tyler Tucker. I'm the defense coordinator and co-head coach. Uh, we're looking to get a dub tonight. Let's go get it. Hi, I'm Robbie Lewis. I'm the offensive coordinator and co-head coach. Working really hard, and we're going to get a dub tonight. I was told by Justin Foster to say, and I quote, I am the main, main coach. Hey, we're coming for blood tonight. Juniors, be scared. Be scared. Sophia's the next Ryan Williams. Yeah, watch out. I'm just a little nervous. Um, Jocelyn is too. Put the camera on Jocelyn so they know it's not just me. Seniors are winning. That's all I'm going to say. That's her. He just kind of gave me the mic, and I started yapping because it's kind of fun, and I'm a yapper. We're going to win, guys. Hi, I'm Caden. I'm the uh, coordinator of mor morale. And, uh... Yeah. Hey, it's Le K9, Coach Le K9, man. I'm just sitting there conditioning, Coach, man. Our guys are in shape. I think we should win. Yes, sir. You heard it here. We ready. I'm just here for the vibes, um, supporting my team. If everyone drops dead on the field, I'm going in. You know, I know my place. I know my place. Hey, I played once. <laughs> yep, I did. I'm Kiki, we're gonna win. Yep, you know it. I'm trying to put this on. Ah, I, can't put I can't put this on. Holy cow. Okay, okay. Go, Lacey, go! Go, Lacey, go! Yeah. They ain't got nothing on us. Yeah, and we're the superior ones. And no matter what the scoreboard looks like right now, yeah. it's gonna look. Oh. Oh. Um, Coach Robbie's a little mad right now. Time number nine. Time number nine. We got it, okay? Yeah, we got it in the bag. I grabbed a girl's flag like five yeah. times, so I'm proud. Was it like but I fell and skid my knee, so I'm sad. Do you want to know what's your mom? Than 20 oh, 25. 25. Oh. <laughs> wow. Um, I puked last year. It was really embarrassing because now everybody talks about it. Um, but I'm hoping not to puke again this year. I almost did earlier, but. Yeah. We are losing very, very badly. But not that badly. We still have points. We, we have 14 to 12, guys. We got this. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Move! <laughs> nope. My talk to Trey is actually thinking that I could go out on the field and dominate, but we all know it's not true. We may not have won, but we won in our hearts. I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Hey, Mr. Go. <laughs> or Gilmer. My bad. I don't even know anymore. I'm too tired for this. It's been a great homecoming week so far on the hill. What was your favorite dress up day, Jada? Definitely Twin Day, where, <laughs> where we went as the Super Mario Brothers. What about you? Pajama Day, for sure. Let's see what everyone else's favorite part of Hoko Week was. What's your favorite part? I'm going where? Are you going to be Western now tomorrow? Western where? What are you wearing tomorrow? Western where? So Angie, why are you not dressed up for Western Day like you said your favorite day of the week was? I'm not dressed up because I'm not feeling this Western fit, guys. Dressing up. Is this your favorite day? Yeah. Did you have all this stuff like prior or did you go buy it before? I had it prior. That's a real cowboy right there. Yeah. Getting Liddy at the... Getting Liddy at the dance in the middle of the circle, going crazy. She's a party girl. Connor, what's your favorite part about Hoka Week? Is it good? Oh, yeah, it's very good. Um, I don't know. Dressing up's pretty cool. Nice. Can I get a bite of that cheese? It's good cheese. What is your favorite part of Homecoming Week? My favorite part of homecoming week, the dress-ups, obviously. The fit is fire. Thank you. Oh, yeah. And then my, oh, yeah, I got my roller skates here. <laughs> what's the question? Uh, what's the question? Oh, yeah, what's your favorite part about homecoming? I don't know, actually. 
Figure out one. What about making a poster for your little boothang? Oh, that was uh, that was interesting. My man right here, he, he yeah, I bought the stuff. He bought all the stuff, took me to his house, and we did it together. So that was good. Yeah, and yet he didn't have the audacity to ask me. Like, come on, bro. In the middle of the lunch room is crazy. He called us in 4K. Oh my god. Mm. I like the dress up days. I think the dress up days are really fun. Yeah, you did an A plus job. Yo, so what's your favorite part about Hoko Week? After parties. After parties, yeah. What you doing at the after party? Just going to eat some food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You realize I'm taller than you, right? Still taller. Still taller. Nah. What's your favorite part about Homecoming Week? My favorite part about Homecoming Week is the camaraderie and culture building. I don't really know where that that comes into play, but sure. Go ham. All right, Panthers. I'm Julie Reese. I'm Emma Grace. And that's it for polls. <laughs> Don't forget, our big Hoco game is tonight against Main Park. The King is being announced during the pep rally and the Queen during halftime of the game. Our players are more than locked in for tonight's game and are ready to win. Here is Nyla Dickens with more of your PHS sports. I got spirit. Yes, I do. I got spirit. How about you? This is your favorite cheerleader with PHS sports. What's up, Panthers? I'm Nyla Dickens back with our sport for this week. But it's not just any week, it's homecoming. We started the week off with a bang from our volleyball team. On Tuesday, they traveled to the rival school, Helena. They took down the Huskies through the Cameron McMahon led with 37 kills, Kylie Hester finished with 56 assists, and Cameron Ruverall with 24 digs. Also, congratulations to London Wynn for reaching 1,000 career kills. Great job, ladies. As a result of beating Helena, we will now host the area tournament. Next week, we'll take on Spain Park on Tuesday. At Spain Park, as we try and finish undefeated in area play. Last week, our cross-country team competed in Shelby County Championship. Emily Wester placed ninth, and Janelle Ramos placed fourth. Tomorrow, they'll travel to Decatur to compete in Jesse Owens Invitational. In case you were living under a rock and somehow missed it, there was a huge game last weekend in college football. Alabama upset Georgia 41-34 in the game of the year. After going down 28 to zero, Georgia did not quit, and they even took the lead with just under 30, three minutes. But 17-year-old Ryan Williams came in clutch as he caught a 75-yard touchdown pass to take the lead, and fellow, fellow freshman Xavier Brown clinched the victory with an interception on Georgia's attempt at tying the game. Sadly for Auburn fans, their game did not go as well as they lost to Oklahoma 27-21. They were in position to win as they had 21-10 lead in the fourth quarter, but Oklahoma rattled off 17 straight points highlighted by a Peyton Thorne pick six. Auburn is now 2-3 on the year. Tonight, our very own football team will take on the number three team in the state, the Spain Park Jaguars, for the homecoming game. The theme is construction. Make sure you are there at Ned Bearden Stadium at 7 p.m. We are coming off our best game of the season where we beat Chilton County 37-14. That's all I have for this week. I'm Nolly Dickens with PHS Sports. And that's a wrap for this week. With just one sleep to homecoming, excitement is in the air. Get ready for a weekend full of fun and celebration. Thanks for tuning in. Happy homecoming. Bye. Bye. Man, I'm done with this, bro. I might as well just go home. Go over there and you're gonna tell her you like how she look. Yeah. Don't fold. I got you, I got you. Go. And that was the whole thing that I was tripping about. Cause it just it had me so messed up, bro. I could Hey, hey, hey. Let's see what she said, let's see what she said. Okay, now stop. <laughs> what was you using? AI? That explains a lot. I mean that's what I always do. Oh wait, no, no, you I said not try to dab me up. <laughs>
Kobe. It's been a long day. <laughs> this user has blocked you. Speed. <laughs> 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 says this user has blocked you again, dude. What you mean again, bro? I've been blocked 28 and a half times and counting. <laughs>